Blue Lagoon and the boat just, just sunk. I never thought I would see these lights. Oh my God. I have to try to, they are coming to, to get us, but here we are. People are coming, panicking. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry about this people. trying to stay above water even with their life vests on. Literally sinking. So we all jump in and it was actually pretty rough waves. So a lot of people didn't they were just trying to stay above water even with their life vests on. Our boat is sinking. Had two days where we were completely at sea. It was a trip to the Bahamas that this group of friends from the San Joaquin Valley will always remember but not for the reasons they hoped. What started off as a joyful cruise through paradise to celebrate a friend's 21st birthday quickly turned into a nightmare. The water was a little bit rough. I would say like when we were already there, um, we were bouncing a lot on the waves and the water was kind of splashing us in the face. But then they say the boat was suddenly hit by a big wave. We were fine and then all of a sudden we were tipped. <laughs> Within minutes, they say the boat began to sink and their lives were on the line. And we, it was like slanted. People were kind of like sliding down. We were holding on to each other, trying to stay up. So we were just kind of bracing ourselves. Um, and I kept just, people kept yelling, life vest for a kid, you know. So I kept passing it back every time I'd get one. Um, so I started getting nervous that like I wouldn't have a life vest myself. Many passengers held on as long as they could before they started jumping into the water. And then one of our friends in the group, she was like, guys, w we need to go. The friends say multiple nearby boats, lifeguards, and even residents acted quickly to pull them and more than 100 others out of the water. While they were lucky to make it out alive, one passenger, a woman from Colorado, according to officials, lost her life. We did see them performing CPR on the on the other boat that was sinking. You just, you kind of think of, you know, what was she going through? Um, what were everybody going through being on the lower level? You know, that's where all the water was going in first. Um, and then you start to think about her family and um, getting that phone call, you know? These friends say they were grateful to have each other throughout the whole ordeal. It was really hard seeing mothers and fathers like throw and chose to share their story to send a message to the survivors and others out there you don't know it until you go through it um and so just i hope people understand compassion um you can never really prepare for something like that this group of friends says that while they are happy to be back home and back in their hometowns they recognize that there's still a lot of healing to do ahead